Saints come out to applaud the fans around the ground. Flags waving all around the St. Mary's Stadium. And Saints are unsurprisingly unchanged after that, frankly, historic turnaround at Leicester last week. So, free kick out on the right, midway inside the Wolves half. Whipped in by Ward Prowse. It's allowed to bounce three or four times. And it's hooked to the back post. And who'd have thought Jan Bednarik would calmly volley it in from about 12 yards out on a left-hand angle. Cool as a cucumber, the young pole. He didn't hesitate. He put it back past Patricio. And Saints have the lead within 15 minutes. It's only his second ever Premier League goal. Jan Bednarik's first of the season. Saints won, Wolves nil. Nudmark did the back and cool as a cucumber. He knocks it in with his right foot. That's a, that's a cracking goal there. It's a great I mean, finish. He's just, he's just knocked it over the top of the goalkeeper from the back and the angle. Good piece of play, that. It's like he was on the that's training a, ground. That's it. Calm as, calm as you can be, Adam. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Traore on halfway, gives the ball away. Intercepted by Ben Narek, who feeds Redmond. And in the 24th minute here at St Mary's, Redmond will dart down the left wing, drags Neves back with him, then tries to cut inside, back onto his left foot, looking for options, still taking Neves down the line. Chips into the box, someone surely, Cedric with the downward header straight in his compatriot, Patricio. Hoybier could have possibly got the shot away, I, he left it for Cedric. I thought it might have been a one of those where he might have left the Hoybier running yeah. onto it. It was a great cross from Redmond, and Hoybier just uh, hesitated and said... Red run from Hoybier from midfield into the box, and I think he might have been better leaving it for Hoybier. Yeah, it's a crisp afternoon, and Traore taps it round Bertrand, gives it to Neto. Two men make their way into the box, and one of them's Jimenez, and he's almost taking it away from the goal as he stretched the Mexican, timed his run. Saints a little lucky there, he's hit that wider than where he was in line with the near post. He's got that wrong with his left foot, but the crossing was good and he stretched. And that was a chance, lovely cross from the teenager Neto. And then Jimenez has stretched and taken it away from goal. Done Stevens as well, Adam. Yeah. Just caught him. Cedric's come into a central position. Stevens to his right, but they've gone back to halfway. Then he goes to Armstrong, again, Johnny in early on Armstrong, but Armstrong kept it in and did well to turn it for Cedric. That's a good-looking cross, the flick header, and Shane Long has his goal! Finally, finally, his first of the season! He worked so hard, Shane Long, and he's made a great run into the penalty area late, and he's glanced ahead of past Patricio from a wonderful cross out on the right-hand side by Cedric, and Saints have doubled their lead in the 35th minute. Shane Long's first of the campaign. What a moment for him. Saints two, Wolves nil. Well, that's a goal I, I really appreciate because the ball's gone down the right-hand side. Cedric's out on the right-hand side and he whips the ball in. First time, not thinking about it, just does it. Reaction, whipped it in. Long's come in across his man, got the header, put it past the goalkeeper. That is a terrific goal, that for me. And then ball out to Doherty, forced to play it first time under pressure from Bertrand and gave it away. And then a volley from Bednarik finds Redmond on the left wing. He wants to go round the defender and he's gone round Dendonka. Redmond pulls it back towards the back post. Shane Long with a header down and it's just wide of the post as Patricio dives down to his left. Well, well I think he's got a hit target there for me. But he had time to place he had it, time. He? he? had time, he's hung up in the air, Adam, he's on his own. Yeah, and he, he's got it, he's obviously knows Patricio's good, he could have actually nodded it down for Armstrong as well, but uh, Saints on the counter looking a threat there, Dave. So well, they've got three men up the front, who you can, you can hit Oh, up and early Patricio's early. got just about caught by Danny Ings that time. Somehow the ball squirted out to Dendonka, Meanwhile, Hoybier's on, on the floor in the middle of the Wolves' half, gets up limping, Traore's breaking, Neto two-on-one at the back post for Traore to aim at, where's the defender's gone? Into Neto, can turn and hit it, and does, and puts Wolves back into the game. And from nowhere, suddenly, Saints were asleep. There were two orange shirts in the penalty area, only Cedric trying to defend them both. Pedro Neto got it, and the teenager fires Wolves back into the game, and VAR will have a say, will it? I'm sure he I'm checks every goal, but... I was just wondering whether there was a Wolves player offside. Well, it's certainly going to be checked by VAR, but Neto, as things stand, is uh, 
has scored. I don't think there's anything no. wrong with that. And no. he just went offside before as it was kicked. But, but I don't no. think so. But you know how we we got the breaks in the first half. Yeah. Wolves have just had one or two little breaks in the second half. Stevens couldn't get there early enough to, to shut his stop his cross, Dave, or his forward ball. Berkson thankfully got the ball off Traore, but it's going to go back to Neves. He can see Jimenez has pulled wide on the left. He's gone out for a wall's throw and he just got stopped from sending that pass as he was tackled. Now Traore's got away from Hoybier way too easily. Squares it midway inside the Saints after the goal scorer. Neto forward and Saints stretching. That's going to be a penalty. It goes through to McCarthy. The referee says no pen. He's given a corner. So maybe set, maybe Stevens got a touch, but it looked like he lunged late and it might go for VAR this. And I don't think Stevens got the ball. I think that's a penalty. I think he misses it by a millimetre. It comes into Johnny. Stevens misses oh, it and takes it. It's a foul. It's a pen, Dave. And I think he's, he's I think VAR is going to give a pen. Surely it's going to VAR. And it is a foul. It's a penalty to Wolves. The fans celebrate. They've scored in the 53rd minute. They've got a penalty 10 minutes later. Just didn't start the half right as Jimenez waits. He got the equaliser from the penalty spot in October at Molyneux. 64 minutes gone, this time at St Mary's. And he's looking for an equaliser now from the penalty spot. Jimenez against McCarthy, right-footed, sends him the wrong way, and Wolves have turned it round in 10 second-half minutes. First Neto, then Jimenez from the spot. Stevens the villain, it's Saints 2, Wolves 2, and Saints have given away a two-goal lead from half-time. Wolves playing But the across. side have not looked right in there at the start of the second half. Danny Ings charges down Patricio's clearance as he sends it up towards... Doherty and then the header come inside from Burton. Redmond, he thought about the pass to Armstrong, gets it onto his right foot, fires it just off the top of the crossbar from 20 yards. Oh, great effort from Nathan Redmond. Not an easy one, he was running away from goal almost and it's dipped and what? hit the top of the bar. What a goal that would have been, he's gone past one player, he's knocked oh. it past another, he's lined himself up, he's had a gamble off his right foot, he's gone back across the face of the goal, it's hit the bar and gone over. There's a diagonal ball from Cedric, back to Redmond. That's a great pass from Cedric. What a pass that is. Can Redmond make it count? A couple of step-overs in front of Doherty. Then he goes back to Adams, who under-hits his return ball. Two on two at the back. Yeah, it's dangerous, isn't it, Dave? This is the problem. And then they're allowed to hit the ball early for Traore, who's onside. Traore collects it, bursts in behind Bednarik, flicks it back with his left foot, pulls it back for Jimenez. The turnaround is complete. Three second-half goals for Wolves. Dave Merrington, you just heard him say two on two at the back and they have done Saints again in the second half and from 2-0 down after 35 minutes Wolves are 3-2 up after 76 minutes three goals in 23 second half minutes have absolutely stunned St Mary's Jimenez with the third, Saints two, Wolves three Well, as soon as the ball come out you know, as a coach and a manager, you look and you think, oh, we right at the back. You've got Triori up the front, Adam. You can't leave or mark him too tight. 3-2. Quite possible handball again. I don't know who that handball could be by. Is it really by Triori? I don't know where the handball offence could have taken place. Wolves fans are anxious now. What looked like a pretty routine goal is a routine goal. No handball. I didn't even see where the handball might have been. It all just fell apart at the back, didn't it? The confidence at the back went. And that's a hooked clearance by Dendonka that sliced off his right foot and suddenly from nowhere given the Saints a corner. Right footed, it's a good one, into the heart of the six yard box, comes out to Buffal. oh! He smashed it on the half volley, high into the chapel end and got it all wrong, and I thought well, if he'd have drilled that low, it could have gone off anyone. And yeah, he's got to drill that into the box there, he's got underneath it, hit the stand actually. I know, it's terrible, I mean he's just got a, lots of bodies in front of him, but he's got to get that closer. So the goalkeeper will run this clock down now. And it's there it forward, is, and that's it. Full time. Saints have squandered a two-goal half-time lead at St Mary's. 
Their brilliant six-match unbeaten run has come to an abrupt halt here at the hands of Wolves in the second half.